don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification okay guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well welcome to our youtube channel this is the third video in match text classification in machine learning in our previous tutorial we had some few operation on a jupyter notebook so in this tutorial <coughs> i'll show you the structure of already created the django project and i will create a function in views.py of django for loading and the cleaning of our data set as we can see here this is my project named as you just see it is django project inside the django project there is an app named as bonge so if you will need to start from the beginning you can create a project named ujasi and you can create an app named as bonge but i don't see the need of creating this all what we need is to take user input from the form process it then uh, send back the result to the user so this is uh, just a beginning uh, the django scale is for a beginner so this is an app named bonge and in app there is a static where i have stored my images and the css files there is templates where i have stored my html pages right there is views.py which we are going to deal with it so i'm going to open it by using sublime text editor so this is uh, view.py let me let me let me take you back to our project now you can see this is as your home page here we are going straight forward to deal with lodi and a cream underscore function so this is a function here what we need is to to load our data set then after after loading our data set we'll have a work to we'll have a way to pre-process and to clean them so i'll use os to to load our data set so here i write df df is equal to pd which is pandas as you can see on line number nine we imported the pandas as pd so pd dot read underscore csv bracket os dot path dot join then after i specify the path of a file and the file name so let me go to check out let me go to check out my data set path so i copy it then here is for a path this is the path of our data set after specifying the path we need to specify the name of our data set so let me copy 
then paste it here so uh, so far we have loaded our data set here we can print the length of our data set df so after that uh, we need it to I want you to to I mean I want to to drop some some rows of our data set as we we have a lot of so all of these um, are the rows you saw I want to drop some rows so how we do this is df dot drop df dot tail I want to drop the thirty ninety thousand rows dot index slash impress is equal to true the meaning of impressed is equal to true means save accept and save the changes after that df is equal to df brackets after that as i told you before that we'll deal with only a category in the title where will a train will train a system uh to learn the titles of our data set then the system in future time will predict the category of titles after that i we want to also filter We want to filter not null we don't need any null in quorum title so df is equal to df bracket which is the square bracket more bracket pd pd not null bracket df then title so it is df is equal to df then square bracket pd dot not null bracket df square bracket title so that is how it should be then after i want to print the i want to print the first i want to print the first uh first five first five rows so let me print df then title After that, dot head uh, we need to deal with a pry and a lambda. So df dot title is equal to df dot title 
actually lambda is used for data conversion where it can convert string to integer integer to string and so on so data df dot title dot apply bracket lambda x x to lower so we want to change title into a lower string after that we also need to apply lambda to make some conversion we want to make uh, uh, any quotes in uh, in a title to to be to become a string you know our title our title have a string so i have have actually punctuation or quotes so we want to change the quotes present in a title into a string so df dot title is equal to df dot title dot apply bracket lambda x x dot translate dot translate bracket string dot make trans make trans dot make it trans we need it to put brackets single quote comma single quote string to punctuation string to punctuation so that is let me copy this then you paste it here so title dot df dot title is equal to df dot title dot apply x str make to string so here i'll put one up to nine so single quote 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 0 after that what we need to do here is df is equal we put a square bracket then id category category underscore id is equal to df square bracket category dot factory dot factorize I put bracket then after there is a square bracket I put zero right so it should be something like this then the end of function we need to return df right so actually this is 
is our function for loading and cleaning our data set right should be something like this so actually uh, this is an end of our our third video in much text classification in machine learning uh, in our actually in our video number four will will code some will write some codes for receiving uh, user input right from a form preprocess make a prediction and return the answer to the user and the function which will be used for making prediction is this def predict so don't forget to like put comment share and subscribe for the next video update thank you and see you in the next tutorials goodbye don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.